John, thanks very much for sitting down with us. Um, you've been in your role uh, here at Cheltenham Town Football Club as the commercial manager uh, since May. How's it all going? It's gone really well. Um, had a really good summer. Um, got most of the big sponsorships sorted quite early on. Um, the stadium sponsorship and the, the stands and things like that. Lots of boards going up around the ground. Um, much to Andy, our safety officer's uh, disgust because he has to keep putting them up. But um, yeah, it's gone really well. Programme adverts have sold. Um, and generally, uh, we've got a lot of sponsors and a lot of new business on board. And how are you enjoying the role uh, personally? It's been really good. It's just great to be back involved at the club, really. Um, I've been away since 2009. Um, so, sort of still been involved in football to a certain extent, but not in a professional capacity. Um, and although it's not a coaching role or on the football side of things, which is not something that I'm really keen on getting involved in anyway at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying being back back as part of the football club and, and working with people that I've, I've known for a long, long time. You mentioned all the sponsors that you got during the summer, some of them which are in the advertising board behind you. Uh, I believe there's still some outstanding there. There's still some bits and bobs, yeah. We've got, um, some, we've got one new uh, sponsorship opportunity that we're really excited about, which is the Robins TV channel, um, which shows all our YouTube clips and videos throughout the week. Lots of pre-match interviews, post-match interviews, um, and all sorts of clips of the, the boys and what they're getting up to at the training ground. Um, Gary Johnson's interviews, lo lots, lots of clips going on there that are getting a lot of views. Um, and we feel it's a great opportunity for a business locally to come in and sponsor that and, uh, and put an advert on there. Um, so anyone interested in that should get in touch soon because I think it's going to be a really, uh, a really exciting opportunity for somebody. And how can they get in touch with you? What's the best way to do that? Um, they can call the club. Um, direct dial is 01242 588 107. Or they can email me at uh, john.finnegan at ctfc.com. What about on a match day? Obviously, boys are doing really well out there on the pitch. Is there any way that people can get involved um, up here? Yeah, yeah. We've always got, um, well, we're not say we've always got availability. Some games are full, fully booked already. Um, but we do have availability in the sponsors lounge for pre-match dining packages. We've got one match ball sponsor available, which is for the Gateshead game, um, which has now been moved to the 23rd of Feb. Um, but we can do, you know, pretty much dining and hospitality packages for individuals or couples or groups of whatever you want to go up to really, uh, depending on availability. So it's always worth contacting us. People can come up one o'clock, have a nice meal. Um, sometimes we'll get a player up here to do a little bit of a question and answer if, if they're available. And it's just a good atmosphere when this place is full. We can get 50 people up here. Um, two, two or three hospitality boxes available for certain games as well. So, and, and like you said, the boys have been brilliant on the pitch, so we've had some really good days up here this year. Uh, I've got to finish with that. Uh, as a former club captain yourself, who, who've led Charlton to promotion, uh, how do you think it's all going? Amazingly well. Um, I don't think any of us could have dreamed it would have gone this well, to be honest. Um, Gary and Russ have done a great job uh, with the first team. and. Um, the players have been sensational. Everyone that's come in has played their part. Um, it was a big job for Gary in the summer. He, you know, he cleared the decks and, and, and he's, he's brought in a great bunch of lads by the look of it. And not just good on the pitch, they're, they're a good bunch off the pitch. And anything we've asked them to do from, on a commercial side, they, they've got on with it and done it. And none of them have ever moaned, as far as I'm aware. And it's, uh, it's a great time to be involved with the club. Russ Milton's commented a couple of times. He sees some similarities between. Uh, your team that which got promoted. Do you, do you see the same with this group? I think um, obviously I don't know all the lads personally. I see them occasionally, and uh, you just get the feeling that they've just got a real good spirit, and um, you know everyone keeps talking about that. And um, I think that can take you a long way. Um, we were never fortunate to to win a league, but you know we had a couple of promotions, and um, these boys have got a great chance of winning a league, which is something I never achieved. So um, I, I really hope we can do it and a uh, big game coming up this Saturday, uh, home to Welling. Yeah, they're all big games. Um, Welling, um, not played them yet, so it'll be an interesting one. Um, I think we played them again on the 5th of March away, don't we? So, um, yeah, yeah, it'll be a, a tough game like they all are, but hopefully we can get an early goal and, and put them away like we did with Bromley in the last home game. So what's your prediction for the game then? Oh, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for Charlton. Perfect, thanks very much, John. Cheers.